a lot of times we face a unique problem. In this case, we know the solution, we know the answer, but we want to find out the inputs to this answer. For example, I want to buy a house and I know that I can allocate only rupees 50,000 per month in the form of EMI or equated monthly installment for this house. This is after allocating all the expenses towards running my house, my day-to-day -day expenses and my savings. Right? So how do I find out how big a house I can buy or how big a loan I can take if I know that I can spend only 50,000 rupees in the form of equated monthly installment. So let's go back to our PMT example. In this case, we have loan amount of 60 lakh rupees that is 6 million rupees and we know that the EMI for this loan at the rate of 12% and for a 20 year loan is 66,000 rupees. How will I find out the amount of loan that gives me exact 50,000 rupees as EMI? I'll go to the loan cell or the loan amount cell. I'll manually change the loan amount and by a trial and error method, I'll find out the EMI amount. So till the time I don't reach that loan amount exactly, which gives me 50,000 rupees of EMI, I will continue to do the trial and error. Right? This is where the goal seek function of Excel helps you out. It gives you that value of input which is necessary to get an exact output amount. Where is goal seek in Excel? Go to the data tab and go inside the what if analysis. The shortcut is Alt A W G. There are three steps in goal seek. First one, set the cell to a value. Now, what is this? Here, you give a reference to the output cell, in this case, the EMI cell or the calculated cell. Please note, this cell has to have a formula. Second, set this cell to which value? In this case, we'll say minus 50,000 which is the EMI payment that we have to make. This cannot be a reference, you have to specify a value here. And the third important step, by changing which cell, you have to give a reference to the input cell here. In our case, it will be the loan amount cell. So give all of these references properly. You can also use the normal edit mode of Excel to put in all of these values and just say ok. So what have you got? You've got the answer to your calculation right in one single step. You have saved all of your steps of trial and error method. Right? So the answer here is 45,40,971 rupees. That is 4.5 million rupees. So you know the precise amount of loan that you can take to afford an EMI of 50,000 rupees per month. Let's say my family wants a bigger house. They can't take a smaller house. So what do I do? In this case, I have to request the bank for a 25 year loan maybe instead of a 20 year loan. How will I find out the exact tenure? The same way. Avoid the trial and error method and use goal seek. However, the changeable input in this case will be period and not the loan amount. Alright?